It's 7.45 a.m. and Dr. Eric Skarsgård is already meeting up with his second surgical patient of the day, Elijah Martin of Prince George. Remember my job, I'm going to take out part of your intestine that's got the Crohn's disease in it. That'll make me better, right? It will. You've been, uh, you've been putting up with your Crohn's disease for quite a few years now. And yeah. Although you've had medicine that kind of controls it, the medicine sort of makes you sick, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And I, I guess it's like I never want it to come to this, but if it'll help, I guess it's worth it, eh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, Elijah, you gotta head downstairs. There's a little baby we gotta do a quick operation on first, and then we'll come and get you down there, okay? All right, cool. Okay, see you soon. All right, see you. Okay. I'd probably do probably between four and 500 surgeries a year. A day like today where I'm doing two bigger cases, I, I, did, I got one little hernia done first thing, and then the other two cases have taken up the rest of the day. Elijah's mother, Yvette, is allowed to stay with her son until he is anesthetized. She's going to be right there, okay? Same time, slow. Mommy's right here. Well, Elijah has uh, Crohn's disease. What we plan to do today is remove his colon, the large intestine, which is very diseased by Crohn's disease. Um, we will be using uh, new technology, laparoscopy, where we will be able to free up his entire colon in his abdominal cavity without really making an incision. And then we make just a fairly small incision, probably just a three or four inch incision to remove the, the uh, colon, whereas before we would have had to make a, you know, eight or 10 inch incision. And so this will really uh, uh, facilitate Elijah's recovery. He'll be in the hospital for a shorter period of time. He'll return home quicker. He'll be back to his usual physical activities sooner. And he'll have a small scar. After operating on Elijah for more than three hours, Dr. Skarsgård visits his next patient, Olive Roberts of Vanderhoof. Because of a rare disorder, some of baby Olive's intestines don't function properly. Today, her colon will be removed, and her small intestine will be attached to her rectum. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Hey, Elijah. Found somebody out here waiting for you. Look who's here. It's all over. It's all over, honey. Oh, I feel like crap. <laughs> crap. That's pretty normal. Over in the OR, Olive is nearly ready for surgery. So when was the last time you had something to eat? Oh, I had something at about uh, quarter to six this morning. How long ago was that? <laughs> Oh, that looks like it's about uh, eight hours. But, but I would say pretty typical would be an 80-hour week, maybe a bit more if I have a lot of call or a lot of night work. On most days, Dr. Skarsgård also sees inpatients, some of them new to Children's Hospital, and some of them not so new. Morning. Hi, Dr. Skarsgård. <laughs> Hi, Asher. Hi, Santana. How are you? Hello. Let me see if I can move this leg. I couldn't even touch it last night. Oh, look at that. <gasps> it's a lot better. Hey? <laughs> if I had done quite a bit of pediatric surgery, even been working as a surgeon before I had my own twin girls, and like so many of the parents that come here scared and vulnerable, and you know, I think that's an extra obligation that, that I have as a parent to, to, to try and address those those anxieties and fears of families that I can now better appreciate as a, as a parent myself. Dr. Skarsgård teaches medical students on the fly during the day. He works on research projects whenever possible. And on weekends, there are other duties. A fish. We had to implement this uh, policy for reminding the person on call to feed the fish because we did have a, a long weekend where the fish didn't get fed with... Uh, an unfortunate outcome, as you might imagine. Hi, how are you? I'm Dr. Skarsgård. Nice to meet you. On this day, a couple of unexpected cases came up, and because he was on call, Dr. Skarsgård ended up working an unusually long shift. Later in the week, he checked on all of Roberge. Her intestines are functioning well, and hopefully, she will not need surgery again.
Good stuff. Yeah, I'm starting to After start years of constant stomach pain, Good. Elijah Martin is now pain free and no longer needs medication for Crohn's disease. All right. See you later. Peace out. Okay. I love that I that I get to make a difference in kids and families' lives. There are a few things that I can think of that that you know just make you feel that you are useful and that you do good things and by making a child's life better or I think that's a great privilege that I have to be able to do that.